The Gold Coast MP who shot to fame during the election campaign for doing the chicken dance to avoid a reporter's questions has spoken about his actions for the first time. It comes as a date is set for Parliament to resume and a historic nomination made for Speaker. He's a former policeman but Peter Wellington was bordering on tears talking about his new job. It'll be an honour and I'll do my best to uphold the dignity and the tradition of the Speaker of the Queensland Parliament. The opposition initially said they would support Mr Wellington's nomination. Now Lawrence Springborg says it's conditional, but he won't reveal why. At this stage, we would uh, sit down and work through those particular matters confidentially. From this chair, Peter Wellington will have command of the chamber, making sure politicians stick to the rules, able to remove them for bad behaviour. I'll be impartial um, and I'll do the best I can to make sure that everyone has an equal opportunity um, to raise the issues that, that they want to raise in Parliament. There is going to be a new regime of uh, accountability and integrity in the Queensland Parliament and all of my ministers will act with dignity. They will be under constant scrutiny. Peter Wellington wants the television cameras back in the chamber. The LNP banned them two years ago, only allowing approved images from remote control cameras. The former speaker says she acted to protect politicians. Peter criticised me publicly at the time when I made that decision, but I had to make that on behalf of the parliament and, uh, look, you've got to do it uh, without fear or favour. There won't be a lot of opportunity to see the politicians at work. Parliament resumes on March 24 and they'll only be here for another 31 days spread across the rest of the year. That's five days less than under the LNP and eight days less than under the last term of Anna Bly's reign. One of the politicians stepping back into that spotlight is Ray Stevens. The Mermaid Beach MP now admits the chicken dance he did after questions about his involvement in a cable car project was down to frustration. The gesticulation that uh, went with my uh, uh, explanation of not being able to talk on the matter uh, turned into a rather unfortunate piece of uh, media history. Darren Curtis, Nine News.